And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. We've got a perfect day for baseball. It's the Los Angeles Angels going up. First pitch coming your way next. Coming up on the first pitch, and today's starting pitcher, Garrett Cole. Well, the big thing is that the way he holds his curveball, it's more of a knuckle curve. And because of that, it's less predictable in terms of the break for the hitter. That makes it that much harder to hit this guy. Brandon Marsh at the plate now as he chases after that one. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. That's a really big swing right there. He's got to remember, with this speed, a walk or a single can turn into extra bases by stealing a base or two. On the ground. Throw on to Rizzo. Just got him on that one. Let's take a look at our lineup. They're dealing with a top-level arm on the mound, so this figures to be a tough matchup for him. What's the key to the offense today, Singy? Well, Boog, I think when you got a guy that's this talented on the mound, you've got to find ways to disrupt his rhythm, make him uncomfortable a little bit. The guys that can handle the bat and perhaps, you know, bunt, bunt for a base hit, get him moving off the mound. If you're in the box and he seems to be just in a flow, step out, mess up his timing, somehow try to get in his head a little bit, and then when he does come in the zone, you may only get one pitch. You better not miss it. And next for the Angels, Jared Walsh. He's someone that really beats up on right-handed pitching. The lefties, however, oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there, on its way, gone. Jared Walsh blasts one out. The Angels on the board first. It's 1-0. Let's break out the stat cast numbers. It's singing. It tells us this home run was projected at more than 450 feet. Yeah, and not many players can hit home runs as far as this one. That's a special feeling, and I'm sure he was giggling a little bit as he was jogging around the bases. That was one heck of a swing he put on the baseball. Connor Falefa makes the catch, and that'll do it. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. We go to the bottom of the first, and stepping in for the Yankees, Anthony Rizzo. For the Yankees. And the pitch. Anthony. And first offering is fouled off. And Singy, as a team, you need to make the most of the very few opportunities he's going to give you, right? Absolutely. And, and you know, if you don't get to guys yeah. like this, okay. a lot of times early, once they really settle in, it's going to be the later innings that they hand that ball over to a reliever if they do at all. Swing and a miss. Curveball in the dirt. On to first. Got him. One away on the strikeout. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. And first offering is fouled off. The wind of the pitch. Swings over the top of that one. Filthy changeup right there. Just pulled the string. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Two outs, base is empty. Joey Gallo steps to the plate. Big time power. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Hey, seven straight strikes to start the frame. He's got a chance at an immaculate inning. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. All right, there's number eight, one away. Got him! And how about that? It's an immaculate inning! All set for the start of the inning. Now it's the DH for the Angels, Shohei Otani. And a pitch. And it's fouled away. Kicks and deals. And strike two. For this guy, it's truly a battle when he steps into the box. Only one thing on his mind, seeing that pitch out of the hand and hit it hard somewhere. That's hard hit on the line. Hicks makes the grab, and there's one down. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those loop hits to get a knock sometimes. 
Max Stassi comes up empty with a swing there. Batting here with one away. One down, base is empty. He swings and fouls one off. Here comes a pitch. In the air, out towards left center. That's a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. That ball right there landed in what they call the no man's land, meaning it's not really a spot on the field where you can expect anyone to get to it easily. I mean, it's a tough play going back for the shortstop, but also for the outfielders trying to come in. They got to go a long way as well. Stassi leads off first with one away. Lifted in the air, right center field. Makes the grab, and there's two gone. Man at first, and now it's Matt Duffy. Matt Duffy. And that one lifted in the air, center field. Hicks giving chase, makes the grab on the run. And the inning is over. Bottom of the second. And now here's the veteran DH, Giancarlo Stanton. The right-hander back to work. There's a strike. Giancarlo Stanton, certainly a physical presence. And Chris, one of the more imposing guys at the plate in the entire sport. He's a force, and I think it's scary for pitchers thinking about making a mistake to him because you know you're not going to get that baseball back. He hits the ball so hard, you don't even have to watch him swing. You can just close your eyes and listen and know exactly who it is that hit the ball. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. One gone here. Now it's Josh Donaldson's turn to hit. Swings through that one. 0-1. Kicks and fires. And fouled off. And down on strikes. Two down. Well, right now, he's in cruise control, autopilot, just dominating these hitters. He doesn't look like it's a fun at bat. And all of a sudden, you become in awe of this guy on the mound. Somebody's got to break this thing up. That's five straight strikeouts. Got to put a ball in play. And the 1-0. And there's a foul ball. Next offering is in for a strike. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. Oh, well, that's a strikeout, and that'll do it for the inning. Top half of the third inning, so in now for the Angels, David Fletcher. The wind of the pitch. And a swing and a miss there. Looks like he went up there guessing on the first pitch and was going to sell out to it. Didn't make any contact, though. Check swing, but he went too far. And it's 0-2. But why to kick the pitch? Stays alive. Fought off foul. And he deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's one away. Just a great slider right there. And I think the key for pitchers and what hitters don't want to see is if a pitcher misses with that pitch, that he misses off the edge of the strike zone rather than in the middle of the strike zone. And right there, excellent execution, and it finished up in a perfect spot. Two outs, base is empty. And now batting... Mike Trout. Check swing went around. Strike one. 
Mike Trout, just a special player, a special human, does everything well on the baseball field and seems to do it as well off the field. Check swing, but he went too far, and it's nothing in two. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. And welcome back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And stepping in for the Yankees, Aaron Hicks. That one lifted to left. Rendon drifts towards it. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. Isaiah Kiner Falefa up to the plate. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Got him. Picks up strikeout number seven. Quite the start to this game on the mound. Looking very dangerous to these hitters. Seven punch outs already. So this lineup hasn't had much success trying to figure them out. I'm impressed with what we're seeing here. And first offering is fouled off. The wind and the pitch. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Nice warm day here. Good baseball weather. Does that change anything, Chris, especially for the hitters? Absolutely. You feel so. The punch out there, down on strikes, and he knew it. Start of the fourth, and the batter now, Jared Walsh. Cole, back to work. And now this one's a rocket to right. Way back there, gone. A solo shot, and they add a run. It's 2-0. A breaking ball on the inside part of the play requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the front shoulder, there's no way you keep that ball fair. An outstanding job mechanically. He deserves that home run. Anthony Rendon making his way to the plate. Foul ball. Oh, he's just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. Right-hander kicks, deals. And that one is lifted in the air. Picks. Raging back towards the wall. Snags it on the run. And there's one down. Well, those can be pretty fun as an outfielder. Got to put it into his highest gear and go a long way to track that one down. Nothing better than that. You feel like a wide receiver playing football. To the right side. Into the outfield. Base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Pitch was in and off the plate. So hard to do anything with the pitch in that location, but somehow he got the barrel to it and hit it well. Pretty amazing. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. This one high in the air to left center. Racing makes the catch. And there's two away. And Come next back. for L.A., Joe Adele. Hit it well, but flied out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. Foul ball there. Otani, the runner at first with two gone. Owen oh, two as he waves at that one. Well, he looks fresh out there. Just needs to get a little more confidence and remember how good he's been in the past. Next pitch has popped up. Donaldson makes the catch, and that'll do it. But add on one more as the solo shot stretches their lead even further. And it's two. Back here at the ballpark, Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. And the pitch. The first baseman. Oh and one. Rizzo. Oh one's the count. Left-hand hitter waits, and that one fouled off. The pitch, 
And a foul ball. He stays alive. And a swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Here comes Aaron Judge. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Something I'm noticing in this one is that these guys are aggressive early in the count. It makes you wonder if that was talked about in the hitters meeting before this game started. The Yanks hitless so far in the game. Right through there, got him. That's his second strikeout. Now at 10 Ks with still a few innings left, so expect him to add on to that total. And you know, pitchers are looking to have a strikeout per inning. I mean, that's excellent work. Uh, the way it looks now, I mean, he's going to have a better rate than that in this one. So really good stuff working on the mound in this one. Next offering is in for a strike. And the righty deals. And down on strikes he goes. The big right, he strikes out. Ready now for the fifth inning. Here's the second baseman, Matt Duffy. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Well, we can see him muscle up a little bit. He's trying to hit the ball a mile. Got to make sure that he stays within himself so that those mechanics can allow him to hit the ball a long way. And here it comes. Out towards right center field. Torres makes the play, one away. Now batting. Here's David Fletcher. David Fletcher. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. Now there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. Check swing. Went around. That's strike two. The pitch. In the air to left down the line. Gallo brings it in, two down. Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. Brandon Marsh. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. A one down. And a big swing and a miss. Man, 91 on the slider right there. That's a hard one. That's a low end fastball for some guys. Ripped on a line. Grabs it on the run. And that's the third out. Angels held. Welcome back. And now it's Giancarlo Stanton. The pitch. And a foul ball. Denton. The 0 1. Now fly ball to right center. Adele in position, and there's one down. Here's Josh Donaldson. He was a strikeout victim his first time. In there, and it's 0 1. Now, this guy is just filling up the strike zone right now. Don't want to get yourself in an 0-2 hole. You better be ready to pull the trigger on the first pitch. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. And the right-hander deals. Stays alive. And down on strikes. Two down. Well, I think that was just a case of a hitter quitting on a pitch. He was looking fastball and didn't see it out of the hand and just left the bat on his shoulder. That was a changeup right over the plate. Probably not the location he was looking for, but the change of speeds is what fooled him, and he got the out. And he'll one. 
fouled off. He was late. Looking sharp just to strike away from five shutout innings. 0 oh 2 now. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. 1 2 3, go the Yankees. And welcome back. Start of the six, John Chomby with Chris Singleton. And leading off, Mike Trout. And a pitch. Now a high fly ball out to left center. This looks like extra bases. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Hooked around that pitch on the outside, but he was still able to square it up pretty nicely. And that takes quick, strong wrist to pull that off. And next for the Angels, Jared Walsh. And the way he's going in this one, we've been waiting for his spot to come around again. All right, listen, everyone. Stop what you're doing right now. This guy's got two home runs already. Now he's going for number three. The Yankees with some action in their pen. Clay Holmes up and loosening in the pen. Licky, a left-hander, also throwing. And there's something you don't see very much in today's game, the pitch out. Trout aboard here at first with nobody out. Hit on the ground to the right side. And a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty far through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. Out of the bullpen for the Yankees, Clay Holmes. And he'll do his best to keep this close. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and he needed a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Right-handed reliever. And a swing and a miss. And one out now. Here's Shohei Otani. Now back, the designated hitter, Shohei Otani. And a base hit on the line. The run comes in from second. It's three zip to third. Tag got him. The captain, number 33. Max Stassi comes up to hit. Check swing. He went. Strike one. And strike two. No ball, two strikes. Runner leads away at second. Got him. Good job at damage control right there. Seven, eight, nine. Home half of the inning. It's the Angels three and the Yankees nothing. Back here at the ballpark. Well, we go bottom six. Here's the center fielder, Aaron Hicks. Hicks. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. Hey, whatever works, right? Doesn't have to be impressive. Not much the defense can do there. They're playing the odds that he'll pull it right at him, but a little slow roller the other way is pretty much indefensible. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Next offering is in for a strike. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. A big performance on the mound. Lots of strikeouts. That was number 14. Yeah, clearly trusting his stuff in this one, Boog. Feeling really good about what he's working with, and that really allows a guy to attack hitters. You know, such an important mindset to have out there on the mound, especially when you're ahead in the count with two strikes. 0-2 as he waves at that one. The pitch. Got him. So he's gotten deep into this game, and at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. Back to the top of the lineup at the play. Anthony Rizzo. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. 
When a guy's throwing a lot of first pitch strikes as a hitter, you got to be ready to hit. Now, that's not going to help you get deep into his pitch count and into the bullpen, but you got to take what he's offering that day. Up the middle, Fletcher picks it up to first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Now, Boog, I don't have the numbers to back this up or anything, but I think pitchers who tend to rack up a bunch of strikeouts sometimes end up with more errors behind them in the field just because the defenders aren't as involved in the game. They're not as sharp, and who knows if that played any factor there, but I think there could be something to it. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third. New inning getting started, and now the right fielder, Joe Adele, and a pitch. They say you win. That one back up the middle and it gets through. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from and there's just no one there to knock it down. Now it's the second baseman, Matt Duffy. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Adele gets his lead at first with nobody out. Runner breaks early for second and a step off. And they put the tag on him for the out. The pitch. That one hammered left field back there. Can't get their base hit. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. Fletcher at the plate for the third time as he comes up empty there. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss. Hold with two down. Riding to the plate. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Gallo, long run into the gap. Tracks it down for the out. And there's two down. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. So the lineup flips over. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Brandon Marsh. And a foul ball. And he's down 0-2 as okay. he swings through it. He can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitter's got to look down in the zone. Here comes a pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Righty delivers. And down on strikes he goes. And that is that. Seventh inning stretch time. Welcome back. Here's Joey Gallo. The Yankees looking to rally. Syndergaard back to work. And first offering is fouled off. So important for him to control the heart rate right now. He's got to go through the heart of this lineup. Next offering is in for a strike. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. And he'll two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seven. Now there's a three-pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. Stanton, the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. 
Kicks and fires. Strike two. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. Two away. Back to back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Donaldson in the box now. No balls and a strike. 0 oh, and 2 as he waves at that one. This guy's pounding the zone. Hitters don't have time to think in between pitches. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. It's an immaculate inning. Yanks held in check. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Lucas Lipke. It's his job to keep his team in the game. Here's Mike Trout. The pitch. Check swing. Went around. That's strike one. And the pitch. That one hammered, but pulled foul. Pulled down the line. This one hammered, but it's foul. Well, that ball is hit pretty hard and sure had home run distance, but if you're the pitcher out there on the mound, you execute it. Just a long strike. You go after him and finish him off. Out to center. Hicks is there for it. And there's one away. So in now for the Angels, Jared Walsh. Yeah, now the one. They say you win. No balls, two strikes. At the belt and fires. Three. The punch out there. Two up, two down here in the top of the eighth. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. They try to check the swing, just couldn't do it. That's a laser base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Otani now in the box. Comes up empty with a swing there. Two outs. Rolled over to third. And it goes just foul. And a pitch. Stays alive. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Third out, and that ends the frame. Angel. Bottom of the eighth. Here's the second baseman, Glaber Torres. The right-hander back to work. Swing and a miss, 98 on the gun. The wide to kick the pitch. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. And he deals. This is on the ground to Walsh. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. One up, one down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Hicks stands in now and watches strike one. Comes up empty on the swing. 0 oh, 2 now. Left hand batter waits. 
tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. And down on strikes. Out number two. You know, that curveball had some pretty good break to it. As you can see, the hitter just locked up a little bit. Thought it was a great pitch to hit, but sometimes you're looking for something else and you can't pull the trigger. Connor Falefa in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike. Next offering is down low. The wind of the pitch. Curveball drops in there. Boog, that hook's looking pretty sharp today. Just a solid pitching performance so far, and I really think it's because of that curveball. Swing and a miss, and he's down on strikes. That's the third out. And welcome back. And now the catcher comes up to him. Max Stassi. And here it comes. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Nice grab on the run. And there's one away. Man at first. Now it's going to be Matt Duffy. Oh, he jumped the gun for second. They put the tag on him, and that's out number two. Really nice job right there, especially on the mound. Sometimes when that runner breaks, everybody panics, especially the pitcher, and then you don't make the play, you don't execute what needs to be done to get that runner out. That time, he just stepped off calmly, dealt with the situation, and they got it. Ah, that ends the inning, so we take a break. And nine scheduled to lead off the bottom of the ninth. It's the Angels three and the Yankees nothing. For the Yankees, the catcher. Rortvet now at the plate as he swings through strike one. The wind of the pitch. Got him. One away. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third strikeout, and this one looking, obviously, so he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. Rizzo, batting with one down, takes a strike. Swing and a bouncer. Sends it to Walsh. Rizzo out of the play. Aaron Judge at the play. He swings and fouls one off. The 0-1. And Judge spoils that one. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Really incredible performance on the mound. You know he's going to stew a little bit over that one hit that he gave up because when you look at the body of work, so dominant, he'd have made just one better pitch. Perhaps he'd have a no-hitter. A 